All right, folks, there she is. everybody, this is Zach Walters with Weicker Realtors. This is your weekly market update. It is, what is today? Uh, it's the day before Christmas Eve. It is Friday, December 23rd of 2022. And this would be the video from inside of my new vehicle. I uh, ended up, if you've been following uh, the blog for a little while, I, you know, I talked about how there was an accident a couple weeks ago. I, nobody was hurt, thankfully. Everybody had insurance, and that's what insurance is for. Um, but I now am a Jeep owner, for for what it's worth. Uh, I'm really excited. This is a 2019 Cherokee Trailhawk. Um, I put some Harbor Freight roof rack uh, crossbars on it. It's about the extent of the modifications I'm going to do right now. I'm hoping to do some more stuff, so that way this thing will be really fun to travel with, uh, to go, you know, go out into the wild a little bit and hopefully go do some fly fishing this summer. Just part of uh, some of the stuff that I'm interested in. So far I've driven around a little bit. I've gotten as far north as uh, Thompson, uh, Lake Thompson last weekend with this thing. Performed really well in the snow. Enough about the vehicle. A little bit about the local real estate market. Um, and I apologize if any of this is a little shaky. I'm just doing it in the car. I don't really have anything set up to record this. Um, for today, I looked up the numbers with the Royal Estate uh, Association of the Sioux Empire. For single family homes in Harrisburg, T and Sioux Falls, uh, we have 308 homes available on the market today. Uh, there are 186 homes that are either pending or under contract brings us to an absorption rate of 1.656. So we are down from, well, actually we're up from last week by a little bit on available supply of homes. Um, average days on market went down by four days. We're sitting at 51 days, average days on market. Average sales price is about that even at $309,000 per home. And the list to sell ratio is still at 97.95. So it dipped about a half a percent from last week. Um, so homes aren't quite going at 100% list price this week. Seasonality could have something to do with that. I don't think that the recent uh, temperature necessarily has anything to do with that. Um, I, but, you know, I, I've been watching it all week as we're approaching the holiday and we are having homes come back, on, come onto the market. So uh, people are still listing. Um, houses are still going under contract. People are still doing showings. Uh, the real estate market is kind of like the outside right now. It's very cold, but uh, that's OK. Um, you know, I, I provide these uh, weekly blog posts not to just talk about the market, but also, to, you know, so that you can make sense of it, but also so that I can make sense of it and also to help strategize to make the best possible offer for any of my clients that are trying to buy a home and also for anybody that wants to consult with me about selling their home because I think it is important. It doesn't, the week to week changes don't necessarily fluctuate so much that there's a life and life and death change in the market. But what we do by looking at things on a weekly basis is we're able to better predict than uh, what's going to happen going forward as compared to maybe uh, only looking at it once a month or just posting an infograph. Um, I'm always here to try to provide the best possible information, the best content for you to, uh, to make sense of what's happening in our local real estate market. Um, I did look at some notes from Mortgage News Daily. Um, Interest rates on their post was showing right around the, about the 6.3% for a 30-year fixed mortgage. Of course, that always varies based off your credit and lending and debt to income. Um, but things have stayed pretty steady over the last month and a half. And like I kind of mentioned last week, uh, you know, we had a spike in, you know, interest rates and we had a spike in, or, you know, a dip essentially in available homes in our market. And, but uh, home prices are steady. 
um, there's a little bit more fluctuation, a little bit more negotiation uh, to be had if you are just buying. If you're buying and selling, um, you still have the keys to the driver's seat, essentially. If you are selling a home, you do need to do a little bit more than what you might have needed to do over the last couple years uh, to list your home and successfully sell it for what it's worth. Um, and that means doing certain things around the house, uh, refreshing it. Obviously, don't do anything outside until we get back into the, at least the teens temperature. But uh, there's stuff that you can do or at least prepare yourself for the process of making that upgrade. People are still buying, you know, still buying upgrades. Um, it's entirely possible, but not without a dedicated and conscious plan um, with strategy. And that there's a lot that goes into that. So if you've been thinking about it for a while, uh, know that I'm thinking about it all the time and I'd like to talk to you. Um, if you want some additional resources other than me just blabbering inside my new vehicle, uh, I put a link below uh, to the Right Fit Guide. Uh, that is my signature five-step process and approach to helping uh, anybody that's looking to upscale or upgrade their living space to better amenities, uh, more space, uh, more storage, essentially, um, to help them successfully upgrade their homes and to do it in a way that you don't lose the functionality and the qualities of the home that you're currently in. And for anybody that's also buying, um, I'm always helping buyers out as well. Uh, it is still tough because of, uh, because of the interest rates. But uh, if you have a plan put together, it's so much easier to be actionable and to jump on the right fit home for you and your family. Um, so I link the guide below. I am going to again link uh, the interview that I had with Jason Hartman uh, with Authority Magazine on five tips to get the absolute best price for your home. So you don't have to read the guide that I have there. Um, but I have some pretty good tips for anybody and they might be general tips. But they are generally good tips to help you sell your home for vet for more money. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's probably not going to be a lot of news until the new year starts, but I, I've been doing a lot of thinking in the last couple weeks. Um, and I think next week I'm going to talk a little bit about resolutions as, uh, you know, cliche as it might be, but, more than just a resolution. It's about setting my intentions clear. And I think that telling the world what my intentions are going into 2023 is powerful and it, it helps everything become more clear for me. And uh, I feel truly that whatever you put out into the world is what you get back in return. So um, I'm putting out, you know, the best possible advice I can i um, trying to give great information, um, and I'm just trying to help people make their lives a little bit better. Um, if you are celebrating the holidays, uh, I wish you a happy holidays, and even if you're not, I hope you're doing well. Again, this is Zach Walters with Wyker Realtors. It is Friday, December 23rd, 2022, and I wish you a great weekend. I'll talk to you next week.